Hey everybody, this one is about law enforcement officers versus peace officers. Um, law enforcement officers are not peace officers, okay? Either they're going to be a law enforcement officer or a peace officer. They cannot be both at the same time. A law enforcement officer is not representing the government. A law enforcement officer is operating in his private capacity. Law enforcement officers have no immunity. Law enforcement officers are satanic. They're Satanists. Law enforcement officers are working for the United Nations. And this is not directed at peace officers or oath keepers, okay, which peace officers and oath keepers are basically the same thing. Um, anyways, an unlawful arrest is an assault. Any restraint, however slight, upon another's liberty to come and go constitutes an arrest. You know, these Satanists like to call it a detention or being detained. Well, that's an arrest, okay? I don't care what you want to call it. It's an arrest. If you're not free to go, you're arrested. Um, the stopping of an automobile by a highway patrol officer for inspection of a driver's license or for any other purpose where it's accomplished by the authority of the officer is an arrest, okay? And so... Um, an unlawful arrest is an assault. An illegal arrest is an assault and battery. The person so attempted to be restrained of his liberty has the same right to use force in defending himself as he would in repelling any other assault and battery. Each person has the right to resist an unlawful arrest. In such case, the person attempting the arrest stands in the position of a wrongdoer and may be resisted by the use of force as in self-defense. Similarly, a person cannot be convicted of resisting a peace officer in the execution of his duty unless the officer was acting strictly within the limits of his power and duty. If the officer makes an unlawful arrest, then there's a common law right to resist that arrest. And that's uh, the Police Manual of Arrest, Seizure, and Interrogation, 8th edition by uh, Roger Salhaney, okay? And that's actually a Canadian publication. So, I mean, this is common law. This is fundamental principles of common law. A breach of the peace takes place when either an assault is committed or uh, on an individual. And the point is, is that an unlawful arrest is an assault and it's a breach of the peace. Okay, it's a breach of the peace. So these pigs, uh, these Leos are breaching the peace. They do it every day. They do it hundreds of times a day, some of them. Okay. Uh, the reason for the initial detention, speeding and running a red light, are not a breach of the peace. Okay, so uh, these Leos breach the peace all day, every day. Um, there's a guy by the name of Mark Passio. He's a former Satanist priest. Uh, he's got a bunch of natural law videos. He's a brilliant guy. He had learned Latin in high school. So he goes into the derivative of words, and he talks about the pillars of Satanism. And uh, we have to know what these pillars of Satanism are so that we can recognize what's happening in our own society. And um, uh, there's, according to uh, one of the pillars, according to Passio, one of the pillars of Satanism is moral relativism. Uh, there's no absolute right or wrong. Truth is relative. We just make up what's right or wrong. What's right or wrong is what we decide today and tomorrow will be something else. And that's exactly what goes on in a court case where the bail priest is sitting there playing stupid. And so what's right or wrong is going to be something completely from one day to the next. It'll be completely different. And so uh, he's sitting there playing stupid. And, uh, and so it all depends on what the liars say. And according to Passio, two-thirds of the people are practicing Satanists. I think that he's uh, being generous. I think it's more like about 90%. Uh, other forms of uh, pillars of Satanism is survival is the highest law of Satanism. Social Darwinism, certain classes of society think they're most fit to rule. Postulates of survival are the most socially ruthless. Ultimate responsibility is self-preservation, which goes back to the survival, the highest law of Satanism. Eugenics, and the elite get to determine who lives or dies. And that's what uh, uh, Prince Philip, uh, the bitch's husband in England, uh, claims that he wants to come back as a virus so he can kill off a bunch of us. And um, um, he thinks he calls people like you and me useless eaters. Um, anyways, more pillars of Satanism. 
order followers responsible for all the atrocities in history. They just follow orders without thinking about whether it's a lawful order or not. They're willing slaves, okay? And and this he's 100% right on this one. Uh, uh, they are responsible for all the atrocities in history. They just follow orders without thinking about it, whether it's a lawful order or not. And they are willing slaves. They're cowards, too, if you think about it, because they're afraid to stand up uh, and, and, uh, and take a stand. Um, the World War II war crimes tribunals, all the Nazis claimed they were just following orders. They either suffered death by hanging or spent the rest of their life in jail, and some of them are still hunted to this day. And the Vietnam uh, War, the My Lai Massacre, they were convicted of murder. Today, order followers are everywhere, uh, and they're cowards. And that's another thing that, uh, that um, Passio says, is they are cowards. Um, things you see every day using the satanic philosophy of moral relativism, False flag operations, the end justifies the means. Agent provocateurs, the end justifies the means. Entrapment, the end justifies the means. All court cases, uh, if you think about it, entrapment's just an agent provocateur that got caught. Uh, uh, anyways, all court cases are kangaroo courts unless it's a common law court. It's Satanism. The judge is a clerk. He's playing stupid. He's working for the prosecutor. He's an order follower. I mean, think about it. That's where the moral relativism comes from. If you don't know the law or fail to do something properly and follow the right procedure, they sell you into slavery. And yet the next guy will uh, do know something about the law and, and may do something right, and so he gets to walk. And it's all the same thing. Okay, that's moral relativism, and that's Satanism is what that that is. You are there because a Leo, an order follower, and a statute, okay, which is satanic too. They have no authority, and they use their uh, their United Nations Uniform Commercial Code under the Unidroit statute. And now a little diversion. Uh, um, this is an advertisement. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to click on the bell next to the subscribe button so you're notified when there's a new upload. And there's a picture of the front page of the channel. And notice the bell next to the subscribe button where the arrow is pointing at. You click that, a little pop-up will come up and say, uh, do you want to be notified? And the answer is yes. Uh, uh, that's assuming you do want to be notified. Uh, anyways, back to the topic at hand. These order followers, uh, are. it all goes back to the uh, where the end justifies the means. Okay, And that is a satanic philosophy. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil and put darkness for darkness for light and light for darkness excuse me uh, and that's Isaiah 5 and 20 so when did this become this okay these are the first ones well they could very well be peace officers but the second ones well they look like order followers to me uh, uh, they got ski masks they don't want you to see their identity uh, uh, they got these military uniforms assault rifles uh, I mean uh, all sorts of stuff that's why they want to make on uh, assault rifles illegal because they don't they only want to be the ones to have them Anyways, these satanic order followers, uh, they screen out intelligent people in the hiring process for their Leos. Uh, uh, the uh, Jordan versus City of New London, which is the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Second Circuit case, number 99-9188. Robert Jordan had a master's degree and scored too high on their test. He was too intelligent. And, uh, and so this is a, a typical example. Uh, this is uh, uh, basically an ABC News uh, Internet article in New London, Connecticut, September 8, 2000, which, uh, you know, it's been a few years, but uh, this is typical. Uh, a man who's bid to become a police officer was rejected after he scored too high on an intelligence test, has lost an appeal in his federal lawsuit against the city. So the bail priests, they want these order followers out there because it brings in so much business. Yeah, these sale bail priests can sell some more of their just us. Nothing in the world is more dangerous than sincere ignorance and conscientious stupidity. And well said Martin Luther King Jr. And, uh, and that is exactly what these Satanists want, is they want someone that's sincerely ignorant and conscientiously stupid. And, uh, and uh, um, these satanic courts, that's where this is all going to. These act, they, when acting to enforce a statute and a subsequent amendments to the present date, the judge of municipal court is acting as an administrative officer and not in a judicial capacity. Courts administrating or enforcing statutes do not act judicially, but merely ministerially, but merely act as an extension of the as an agent for the involved agency, but only in a ministerial and not in a discretionary capacity. And uh, 
And so he's a bought and paid for clerk. He's a whore. He's selling his justice. He's a Satanist. He's putting on a charade of a trial, and it's a kangaroo court. It's the accepted rule, not only in state courts, but of the federal courts as well, that when a judge is enforcing administrative law, they're described as extensions, mere extensions of the administrative agency for superior reviewing purposes as a bought and paid for clerk. These law enforcement officers enforce statutes. These Leos are not peace officers. These Leos are operating in their private capacity. Terrorism, a system of government that seeks to rule by intimidation. And that's exactly what they are. Here is the satanic order follower is not a peace officer. There's authority man. Just an average American slob, no girlfriend, IQ 95, definitely low intelligence, no power, limited education, some brain-dead idiot, that's what they want on there. Uh, anyways, then he puts on his official unit costume and becomes authority man. He's, he carries out illegal searches with his random checkpoints. The bimbo is kissing his feet. He's got his TSA groping gloves on. He's, uh, he wants to generate revenue with his codes. He's got a black uniform that's designed to be intimidating. He's barking unreasonable orders. Click it or ticket with threatening slogans. He's walking all over the Constitution. The bail priest in their so-called court will flat out tell you the Constitution doesn't apply in here. He's got the threat of violence in jail, and he's got threatening... Um, uh, um, He's got uh, basically photo radar, all sorts of stuff. Okay, that's that's what a, a, an order follower is. Do you feel safe? A satanic order follower is not a peace officer. Do you feel safe? If we can't rape you, the terrorists win. Another satanic order follower is not a peace officer. A satanic order follower is not a peace officer, and I'll bet that guy's feeling that other guy's genitals. I'll bet he's getting his rocks off, and uh, either that or they'll radiate you uh, and turn you into an it by putting you in their in their X-ray machine. Uh, um, love the TSA Body Cavity Explorer Corps. We're here for you. Think of this as your physician. Your health and safety is our concern. TSA cavity search is coming sooner than you think because profiling would offend the terrorists. A satanic order follower is not a peace officer. There's some more satanic order followers who are not peace officers in their military uniforms. Warning, this is the standing army you're told not to tolerate. You want some of this? Go ahead, report me. We'll see who will be at your front steps. A satanic order follower is not a peace officer. Protect and serve and get away with it. A satanic order follower is not a peace officer. Predator or protector? It's a predator is what they are. Satanic order follower is not a peace officer. A satanic order follower is not a peace officer. Police everywhere, justice nowhere. And notice he looks like he's got a pig's nose on. <laughs> that fits. The satanic order follower pigs in Canada. The police state, police state now. Uh, that's that communist country to the north. Say no to a police state now. The satanic order followers in Canada. That's the RCMP uh, um, uh, emblem on the, on the right there. Uh, uh, news from War Crimes R Us, the satanic order followers in Canada. Uh, if you think this is for your protection, you clearly have no idea what's going on. Satanic order followers are not peace officers. And satanic order followers, another one right there, stopped the war. Well, he wasn't wants to punch this guy's lights out because he's objecting to some warfare. Uh, a satanic order follower is not a peace officer. A satanic order follower is not a peace officer. Number of Americans killed by terrorists since 911, 33. Number of Americans killed by police since 911, 5,000, over 5,000. And, you know, I don't even know when this thing was made up because uh, it's been two or three years at least. And so, satanic order follower is not a peace officer. There's our fearless protector, FBI, 
Jack, whatever his name is, special agent, uh, licensed to kill anyone we want, any time, any place, without fear or punishment. And that's uh, another satanic order follower is not a peace officer. Murdered by police. These are uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, thirty people on there alone that were murdered by police. A satanic order follower is not a peace officer. This is a, a RT a news article in uh, May 31st of 2015. U.S. police shot dead almost 400 people in five months. A satanic order follower is not a peace officer. That's what these pigs do. Can you spot the terrorists? I can see a whole bunch of them there. Terrorism is a noun of use of violence and intimidation in pursuit of political aims. There's the terrorists. And, and uh, it's a good thing these advertisements come up at the right time because then I get to chill out a little bit. <laughs> so announcing a subscription-based YouTube channel called Sovereignty International. The recommended cost of the subscription is currently $1.99 a month because it avoids the advertising only. You know, when I first set this up, I was thinking about... Uh, having some exclusive material on there, but I can't think of anything that I want on there exclusively. The only power that these New World Order Satanists have over us is through fraud and deception, and my agenda is to expose it. And so for that reason, I can't think of anything that I'll have on there exclusively. I might come up with something. I actually did put a few, uh, an Arlington private information share up there that's not anywhere else. Uh, and so that is exclusive, but but uh, so I'm thinking about what I can put up there that it's exclusive, uh, but right now there's not going to be much. That's the only thing I can think of right now. Uh, anyways, um, and uh, this is, oh, by the way, that's, uh, we'll go back to here at the bottom is a link to the channel because some people were having trouble finding a channel. And again, at the top of this one is the link to the channel. Uh, the... Um, People sent me donations of $1.99, and I was wondering if it was to subscribe them to this YouTube channel, and I have no control over that whatsoever. Uh, so I sent them an email, and uh, but they haven't responded. I guess I get to keep it until they respond. But uh, so the bottom line is, is that if you want to subscribe, you got to. Uh, 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 click the uh, start free trial button and, and I bet YouTube is going to want to set up some payment arrangements or who knows what. But so the bottom line is, is that I have no control over that. Uh, but it is a good way to make donations if you want. So I'll certainly take a dollar ninety nine donations, whatever they are. It doesn't matter. Any donation helps. Uh, so uh, I and I appreciate the people that made that donation. That was very nice of them. Thank you. Uh, anyways, back to the topic at hand. Judges have become involved in enforcement of mere statutes, civil or criminal in nature, and otherwise act as mere clerks of the involved agency. They're satanic order followers. They're not peace officers. Ministerial officers are incompetent to receive grants of judicial power from the legislature. Their acts in attempting to exercise such powers are necessarily nullities. If they issue a warrant for your arrest, it's a nullity. It's a fraud. It doesn't exist. It's the issue an order of any kind. It's a nullity. It's a fraud. It doesn't exist. Democracy. Fake laws. False arrest. Feel free. Satanic order followers everywhere. The judge works for the state. The prosecutor works for the state. The police work for the state. The vast majority of disputes that the police initiate on behalf of their employer are also adjudicated by their employer, where the plaintiff, the judge, the antagonist, the police, the only witness, also the police, also rep all represent the same party. And since no corpus delicti, mens rea, or ax reis can be produced, doesn't technically qualify to be heard according to its own laws. The state, therefore, is indistinguishable from a criminal cartel. And notice the bail priest is wearing his bail priest uniform, and the prosecutor is wearing his bail priest uniform, and the, 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 the pig is wearing his, his Roman cult military uniform. And notice they're all black, eh? They're all designed to be intimidating. Uh, again, that goes along with Satanism, too, if you think about it. Uh, anyways, if they have to get your consent, which is a contract to obtain jurisdiction. And if all judges become clerks working for the prosecutor when enforcing any statute, and if a clerk masquerading as a judge cannot do anything judicial, then all statutes are color of law. All statutes have to be consented to. All statutes are satanic, full of fraud and deception. And a code is worth even less than that because it's some liar's opinion of what the statutes say. 
There's a kangaroo court right there. Uh, a satanic order follower is not a peace officer. And there's another kangaroo court right there. And there's another one. They got pictures of these things all over the place. And there's a Canadian kangaroo court with, uh, that's probably Rook that's sitting there with their black flag in the corner. Uh, um, and there's a kangaroo court where they, uh, they have their show trial and they send her out their kanga squad, kangaroo squad, to assault people and drag them back into their so-called court. Uh, a kangaroo court is a term descriptive of a sham legal proceeding in which a person's rights are totally disregarded in which the result is a foregone conclusion because of the bias of the court or other tribunal. And that's Black Sixth Edition. Uh, um, and so this all Satanism, they create a statute that's full of fraud and is actually nothing and applies to nobody. See, see the Color of Law video. They screen out and, uh, uh, and hire low intelligence thugs, give them a gun, tell them to go out and assault you and drag you into their so-called court. So their Satanist bail priest, order follower, the bought and paid for a clerk masquerading as a judge can assault you with one of his contracts. Oh, and now another little diversion. Uh, uh, check out uh, cubeyard.com for great custom websites, domain names, and hostings. Go to cubeyard.com. Uh, use coupon code CY172 for 20% off your first order. Cubeyard.com, your source for websites, domain names, and hosting. Back to the topic at hand, where any state proceeds against a private individual in a judicial forum, it's well settled that the state, county, municipality, etc. waives any immunity to counters, cross claims and complaints by direct or collateral means regarding the matters involved. When enforcing mere statutes, judges of all courts do not act judicially and thus are not protected by qualified or limited immunity. They're Satanists. Immunity for judges does not extend to acts which are clearly outside their jurisdiction. It's a kangaroo court. Officers of the court have no immunity when violating a constitutional right for their deemed to know the law. An officer who acts in violation of the Constitution ceases to represent the government. Ignorance of the law excuses no one, uh, 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 does not excuse misconduct in anyone, least of all in a sworn officer of the law. Where there is no jurisdiction, there is no judge. The proceeding is as nothing. Such has been the law from the days of Marshall Saya. And that's uh, uh, See the Void Judgments video. That's actually a, a federal U.S. Supreme Court case that cites uh, Coke and, and his commentaries, uh, which is uh, back in the 1500s, and that's cited in another federal court case. Uh, anyways, an oath. All oaths must be lawful, allowed by common law or some statute if they're administered by persons in a private capacity or not duly or authorized their quorum non judis. And so, therefore, um, and those administering them are guilty of contempt for doing it without a warrant and punishing and punishable by fine or imprisonment. And that is a cite from uh, Coke again uh, in his Institutes and the Laws of England. And that's cited in uh, Tomlin's Law Dictionary, 1835 edition. So again, uh, uh, all these government officials can be in their in their personal capacity or their official capacity. And when they go outside the scope of their responsibility, they immediately lose. They're not representing the government anymore. They cease to represent the government, and they're in their private capacity. And if you don't bring that up with the bail priests, well, they're going to do everything they can to deny you justice anyways. That's what these bail priests do. They want to help out their Satanist order followers and bring in some more business. Uh, a breach of the peace is a violation or disturbance of the public tranquility and order, the offense of breaking or disturbing the public peace uh, uh, by any riotous, forcible, or unlawful proceeding. Okay, that's Black's Law Dictionary. Or no, that's Blackstone's commentaries on the uh, book four on the laws of England. And so, therefore, these, these pigs uh, uh, breach the peace all the time. The reason for the initial detention, speeding and running a red light are not a breach of the peace. So those things aren't breaches of the peace. And they assault you with their Federal Tax Lien Act of 1966. Think about this. Uh, definitions. This is located at uh, Public Law 89-719 at 80 Stat 1130 and 1131 uh, definition section. 
A security interest is means any interest in property acquired by contract for the purpose of securing payment. Okay, so again, this is all commercial terms. Uh, if you go down to motor vehicle, the term motor vehicle means a self-propelled vehicle which is registered. Okay, these are all commercial terms. A security, the term security means any bond, debenture, note, certificate. Okay, this all falls under the Uniform Commercial Code. Negotiable instrument, money, these are all commercial terms that are in here. So this is talking the uh, Uniform Commercial Code and Unidroid. Law enforcement officers are not peace officers. Law enforcement officers are operating in their private capacity. Law enforcement officers are not representing the government. Law enforcement officers have no immunity. Law enforcement officers are Satanists, and they're working for the United Nations. And now another little diversion. Check out my other videos, Bankster Thieves 1, 2, and 3, Churchianity Series, Bankrupt Corporate So-Called Governments, Bar Members 1, 2, and 3, Do It Yourself, How Not to Volunteer for the Selective Service. Martial Law is here. Do it yourself, no income tax. Do it yourself, no sales tax. Do it yourself, traffic stop, one and two. Do it yourself, free mail, one and two. Do it yourself, kangaroo courts, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and nine now. <laughs> They're kind of getting out there, aren't they? <laughs> anyways, um, so uh, uh, anyways, check out my other videos. Uh, it'll help you to understand what's going on here more. Back to the topic at hand, these Leos are impersonating a public servant, and this is actually Texas Penal Code 37.11. Uh, 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 a person commits an offense if he impersonates a public servant with an intent to induce another to submit to his pretended official authority or to rely on his pretended official acts and two knowingly purports to exercise any function of a public servant or of a public office including that of a judge or court and the and the position or office through which he purports to exercise a function of a public servant or a public office has no lawful existence under the constitutional laws of the state or the united states okay so there's a couple different uh, ways that it can happen and and um and uh, uh b um a an offense under this section is a felony so uh, these pigs like to commit felonies. And this is uh, Title 18, United States Code, two, Section 242. Whoever, under color of any law, statute, ordinance, regulation, call, uh, or custom, willfully subjects any inhabitants of any state, territory, commonwealth, possession, or district to the deprivation of any rights, privileges, or immunity secured or protected by the Constitution or laws of the United States shall be fined under this title or imprisoned. And... Um, and that's 242. 241's right here. This is conspiracy, and they do this all the time. And all you have to do is get a couple of them doing it, and then it'll be a conspiracy. If two or more persons conspire to injure, oppress, threaten, and or intimidate, okay, when they go and assault you on the road and threaten to put you in jail if you don't give them one of their government-issued IDs, that's a threat, okay, and you don't have to do that. Uh, and it's also oppression and intimidation. And uh, and they, I mean, they intimidate you, but just by turning on their lights and the, with their military uniforms, that's all designed to be intimidating. Okay, so uh, it's a felony, and so um, uh, again, that's what that comes down to. Unlawful restraint: a person commits an offense if he intentionally, knowingly restrains another person, and so an offense under this section is Class A misdemeanor. It is no offense to detain or move another under the section when it is for the purpose of effecting a lawful arrest. Okay, so a lawful arrest is the operative word here. Okay, so if he's just going to assault you, if he doesn't arrest you, I mean a lawful arrest. In other words, you got to read your rights. There's certain things they have to do. If they turn around and let you go, it's not a lawful arrest. And so then uh, uh, it's unlawful restraint under the Texas Penal Code. And so then the Texas Penal Code, official oppression, acting under color of office or employment, commits of an offense if he intentionally subjects another to mistreatment or to arrest, detention, seizure, search, seizure, dispossession, assessment, or lien that he knows is unlawful, intentionally denies or impedes another in the exercise or enjoyment of any right, privilege, power, immunity, knowing his conduct is unlawful. And so, again, that's what these pigs like to do. Uh, official misuse of official information when they go and uh, and search their computer database for your personal information that's that's misuse of it because they have no authority and so uh, definitions there are organized crime okay these pigs engage in organized crime 
A combination means three or more persons who collaborate in carrying on criminal activities. They conspire to commit means a person agrees with one or more persons that he or one or more of them engage in conduct that would constitute the offense of that person. One or more of them perform an overt act in pursuance of the agreement. And a criminal street gang means three or more persons having a common identifying sign or symbol. Gee, that sounds like a military uniform. Identifiable leadership of continuously and regularly associating the commission of criminal activities. Gee, that sounds like the Texas State Police. <laughs> Engaging in organized criminal activity, person commits an offense if with the intent to may establish, maintain, or participate in a combination or in the profits of a combination or as a member of a criminal street gang, the person commits or conspires to commit one or more of the following. Murder, aggravated robbery, robbery, theft, aggravated kidnapping, kidnapping, aggravated assault, deadly conduct, assault punishable as a misdemeanor or unauthorized use of motor vehicles. So the aggravated part is if there's a weapon involved. So there, it's always aggravated because these pigs like to have a weapon. Uh, directing activities of a criminal street gang, that's their bosses. A person commits an offense if the person as a part of an identifiable leadership of a criminal street gang knowingly finances, directs, or supervises the commission of or a conspiracy to commit one or more of the following offenses. Okay, again, and so then the uh, defense is excluded. One or more persons of a member of, are not criminally responsible for the object of uh, offense. Um, if uh, or one or more persons of the combination have been acquitted or have not been prosecuted or convicted or have been convicted of a different offense or are immune from prosecution. So they go and put in all these little escape clauses. That's what they do. They don't want anybody convicted. Anyways, this is Title 18, United States Code, Section 31, and it talks about a motor vehicle, means every description of carriage or other contrivance propelled or drawn by mechanical power and used for commercial purposes on the highways of the United States and the transportation of passengers uh, or property uh, uh, or cargo for hire. Okay, and it even defines what commercial purposes means, a carriage of persons, property, or any fair fee rate charge or other consideration directly or indirectly in connection with any business or undertaking intended for profit, okay? And so if you're just traveling from point A to point B, then you're not involved. You do not have a motor vehicle, but they go to this Federal Tax Lien Act because it defines a motor vehicle as something else. And so then they can assault you with it. And so anyways, and then, then these Satanist pigs uh, um, like to uh, claim they have good faith, okay? I had a, uh, a Huntsville pig point this one out to me the texas code of criminal procedure i had to look it up but he talked about it because what happened was was he he stopped me and he won insisted on a government issued id so he could do a warrant search and i told him that when a judge is operating as a clerk that uh, uh when a, under a statute which is always that a judge is not a judge and if he issues a warrant uh, he's a clerk masquerading as a judge if he issues a warrant it's a nullity and uh and then the pig came back and he said, yeah, but as long as I do it in good faith, then I'm okay. And I said, well, no, what I said before that was, and if you go and execute that warrant, you'll be a guilty of assault, kidnapping, and false imprisonment. And, and that's when the pig came back and said, yeah, but as long as I do it in good faith, I'm covered. And, and I said, yeah, but now, but I told you it's not in good faith, is it? And, and, and he shut up at that point. But anyways, this is the Texas Code of Criminal Procedure, Article 3823, that's, uh, that talks about it. No evidence obtained by an officer or other person in violation of any provision of the constitutional laws of the state of Texas or constitutional laws of the United States of America shall be admitted in evidence against the accused on the trial of any criminal case. And then B, it's an exception to this provision of subsection A that the evidence was obtained by a, a, a pig acting in object good faith reliance upon a warrant issued by a neutral magistrate based on probable cause. Well, there is no such thing as a neutral magistrate and, and, uh, and there is no such thing as a warrant because they're not operating on, um, uh, it's, all, it's all statutes. And so, therefore, there is no probable cause, there is no neutral magistrate, and there is no warrant. It's a fraud. It's all a fraud. Uh, uh, capious. This is uh, what these pigs like to issue under the Texas Code of Criminal Procedure. A uh, capious means a writ that's issued by a court having jurisdiction of a case after judgment directed to any peace officer of the state commanding the officer to arrest a person convicted of an offense. Okay, and so and so we're going to learn a bit. If you want to pause it and read this, you're more than welcome to. But uh, but uh, capious is not a warrant for arrest. That's where I want to go with this. And so it's a debt instrument. Okay, they they create a fictitious debt 
debt. They forge your signature onto a contract, create a fictitious debt, and then assault you with it. And, uh, and there's a capius ad satisfactiendum, which is found in Tomlin's Law Dictionary, 1835 edition, is a judicial writ of execution that issues out of the record of a judgment where there's a recovery. This And by this writ, the sheriff is commanded to take the body of the defendant in execution to have him safely to keep so he can have his body in court at the return of the writ to satisfy the plaintiff his debt and damages, okay? So that's where it's all going. They want their debt. They want to collect their revenue. They forged his signature onto a contract and they want their money. And uh, a capius is not a warrant of arrest according to the courts in Texas. And so this, the Bible talks about these Satanists and their satanic Roman law and also tells what we need to do if we want to be held, res if we do not want to be held responsible for their actions. And through covetousness shall they with feigned words make merchandise of you whose judgment now the long time lingereth not and their damnation slumbereth not. If a man be found stealing any of his brethren of the children of Israel and make merchandise of him and selleth him, then that thief shall die and thou shalt put evil away from among you. Okay, so we have to put evil away from among us or we're going to be held responsible. And this is my effort to make sure that I'm not held responsible for these Satanist pigs. Uh, uh, it is never over until you say it's over. Shake the dust of the earth from off your feet against them in their household, and they'll get their judgment days coming for them. By which he also went and preached to the spirits in prison. Okay, that's where hell is. Okay, they're going to go to hell. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall punish the host of the high ones that are on high and the kings of the earth upon the earth. And they shall be gathered together as prisoners are gathered in the pit, and they shall be shut up in prison, and after many days shall they be visited. They're going to go to hell. I will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. That's Revelation 17, 1 to 2. Well, think about it. A whore sells themselves for money. Gee, that sounds like the Roman cult. Many waters, that's admiralty maritime law, contract law. Fornication is an illicit activity, circulating IOUs for money. Everybody's getting rich with the fake money. It's kind of like being drunk. And the kings of the earth and the chief captains and the mighty men and every bondman and every free man hid themselves in the dens and the rocks and the mountains and said to the mountains and rocks, fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne from the wrath of the Lamb. And that's Revelation 6, 15 to 6. Endless wars, war on drugs, war on crime, war on terror. All wars are really a giant commercial transaction. All wars are really the banksters making a bunch of fake money. All warfare is satanic. Naturally, the common people don't want war, but after all, it's the leaders of a country who determine the policy, and it's always a simple matter to drag people along, whether it's a democracy, a fascist dictatorship, or a parliament, or a communist dictatorship. Voice or no voice, the people can always be brought to the bidding of the leaders. This is easy. All you have to do is tell them that they are being attacked and denounce the pacifists for lack of patriotism and exposing the country for danger. It works the same in every country. And that is a cite from Hermann Goering, Hitler's Reich Marshal, at the Nuremberg trials after World War II. And, and it's interesting to note that, that they put him to death. Okay. And so uh, uh, Hermann Goering is one of the Nazis who claimed they were just following orders. He was a Satanist order follower. They, he was the Satanist fabricate false flag operations to justify force to get some mother's son in America to go and some other member's son in Russia to, or elsewhere to go off into a field somewhere and kill each other. And that's, that's all part of business. And uh, the Islamic State was instigated and, and cr or created by the certain intelligence agency, according to the vice president of Iran. And so this is taken from the Global Research Newsletter in Canada. And so uh, he said ISIS was created by the triangle of Mossad, MI6, and CIA. Um, uh, Muslekhi said that the dollars in Saudi Arabia and some of the Gulf countries are responsible for funding the terrorist army and uh, the goals, uh, the coalition certainly does not want to destroy IS because it needs to use IS for most of its satanic goals, he added. Okay, so these are Satanism. Um, 
And then, uh, so that all of that was at the top of this page. So we'll go down to the bottom. In June, it was revealed that the U.S. military had trained ISIS members at a secret base in Jordan. Following the attacks of September 11, 2001, it was reported a number of the purported hijackers were trained in strategy and tactics in the Naval Air Station in Pensacola, Florida, and the Air War College in Montgomery, Alabama, according to Newsweek. So this isn't just coming from one source. Um... The U.S. had admitted its allies fund IS. In September, the chairman of Joint Chiefs of Staff, General Martin E. Dempsey, told the Senate Armed, Ser Armed Services Committee, I know major Arab allies who fund them. In January, said uh, to be a Pakistani commander of IS, Yousef al Salafi confessed to law enforcement agencies in Pakistan to getting funds via the United States. Okay, so this is all orchestrated. They want to send your children over to some field to, to get murdered by some else's children. War is business is what it's all about. How to control a nation, distract, deceive, and divide. When your uh, war is when your government tells you who the enemies is. Revolution is when you figure it out for yourself. When exposing a crime is treated as committing a crime, you're ruled by criminals. This is going on in Canada and all over the world because it's really coming from the United Nations. And this is a FOIA request that I did with the, uh, the border pigs. And so you notice it says Department of Homeland Security, uh, uh, and it's a subsidiary of United States Secret Service. The Department of Homeland Security is a subsidiary of the United States Secret Service. The United States Secret Service is a subsidiary of the United States Department of the Treasury. The United States Department of the Treasury is owned and operated by the International Monetary Fund. See Presidential Documents, uh, Volume 29, Number 4, Page 113, and 22 U.S.C. 285 to 288. United States has not had a treasury since 1921. See 41 Stat, Chapter 214, uh, Page 654. And so actually what that should read is 41 Stat 654. Anyways... They are buying up these homeland, these uh, homeland security pigs are buying up literally billions of rounds of ammunition. They're giving away tanks and other armored vehicles to police agencies all over America. Who are these Satanist order followers planning on making war off with? It's people like you and me is who they're planning on making war with. And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and bound him a thousand years and cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up and set a seal on him that he should deceive the Asians no more till a thousand years shall be fulfilled. Okay, so this is all Book of Revelations that's happening right here, right now, and, uh, and we know how it's all going to end. Satan was bound for a thousand years. Mark Passio says that two-thirds of Americans are practicing Satanists. Everything you see going on these days is Satanists. Any so-called Christian church with 501c3 tax-exempt status is a satanic tax-exempt organization masquerading as a church. Trump says that he's going to repeal that. Well, that's great if he does, and I applaud him 100%, but I question whether it'll really make any difference because it's been 40 years since it was put into place more than 40 years it's 2016 and it was in the 50s and so 60 years anyways the bottom line is is that is that um th these churches are all trained okay they know what being a tax-exempt organization is all about they got to keep their mouth shut and so you think they're going to start coming out and saying anything i doubt it uh, uh, maybe some of them, but uh, I doubt it. Most of them are, are Satanists. Congress is full of Satanists, Republicans or Democrats, whatever they want to call themselves. They all work together to accomplish the same objective. United Nations is a satanic organization. I know thy works in tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them that say they are Jews or Christians or whatever and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan, Revelations 2 and 9. Copies of these documents can be found in my private group at Yahoo called Administrating Your Public Servants. I have videos that are videos of private information shares that show these and other court citations that are available for a donation. And this last paragraph is for all the Satanist order followers operating under the Federal Tax Lien Act of 1966 in their private capacity. Um, because uh, donations to support this work are appreciated, but they can put their privileges and benefits up their rectal orifice because I prefer gold or silver coin. But as an extremely less desirable alternative, I can accept the IOUs, 
Federal Reserve notes, PayPal gifts, checks, money orders. Send me an email for our particulars. I appreciate you taking the time to watch the video. My blog is sovereigntyinternational.wordpress.com. My website is sovereigntyinternational.fyi. My email is engineerwin at yahoo. My YouTube profile is Sovereign Living and Sovereignty International. My Facebook community page was deleted due to censorship. My private group, Sovereignty International, is being deleted. Uh, it takes time for me to ban 17,000 people off that group. And uh, uh, but uh, but I'm not going to allow uh, Facebook to profit from my hard work. Uh, Yahoo private group is called Administering Your Public Servants. My Google private group is called Administering Your Public Servants. I appreciate you taking the time to watch the video. I hope you get something out of it. And know that uh, just because he's a Leo and just because he's wearing that uniform, if he's not operating as a peace officer, he's operating in his private capacity. He actually, they breach the peace and, and they're impersonating a peace officer, which is a felony. And that's where we need to go with it. And the sooner we start that, the sooner we'll, uh, uh, we'll get them all fixed up uh, because many of them are actually good and honorable people and that's why there's Oath Keepers out there. There's whole YouTube or I should say, yeah, YouTube videos and Facebook uh, uh, groups called Oath Keepers. And so many of them are good and honorable people, uh, but it just takes a few bad apples to spoil a whole pot. Anyways, I uh, appreciate you taking the time to watch the video and uh, keep in mind that uh, that uh, that uh, they're not all Satanists, they're not all uh, um, uh, um, uh, order followers, uh, and they're not all cowards. Uh, some of them are, are good and honorable people, and I appreciate the work they do. Anyways, have a great day, and thanks for watching.